Can you tell the next generation you stood by and didn't help protect North America's wild places? Although one of the world's most developed continents, the North America landscape still evokes the awe and grandeur that was first seen by pioneering explorers like Lewis and Clark. And with a little effort, it's still possible to get to places that feel as wild and remote as anywhere else on the planet. The challenge for most of us is to find these locations. Despite seeing images in books and on film, many of us never get to experience them for ourselves. While many of these places are deeply remote, requiring arduous treks to reach, surprisingly, others are closer than you think. It's always been the mission of a select group of explorers to locate these hidden gems. Following in the tradition of these early adventurers and iconic landscape photographers like Ansel Adams is modern-day explorer and photographer Rodney Lowe Jr. Hi, my name's Rodney Lowe Jr. Let me take you on the journey of a lifetime. After a career documenting the continent's most scenic and wild locations, Rodney has amassed a collection of photographs that are unequaled in their breadth of geographic range and sheer beauty. No other living photographer can come close to his level of dedication and skill. Working with an 8x10 plate camera to ensure he captures images of astounding quality, his prints are among the best in the world. Rodney has earned numerous awards from the Professional Photographers Association of America and has received honors from both the U.S. Senate and United Nations. His work hangs in the National Museum of Natural History at the Smithsonian. Oh my gosh, this is just, this is amazing. You know, this is the thing I love about winter. You never know what's going to happen. You got these clouds coming off, sun's going down, the sun's coming in up underneath the clouds, uh, lighting the midsection of the mountain. I think this is where we're going to set up and see what happens. Marketing his images through his own galleries in some of the country's finest locations, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Park City, Happy Valley, and Sausalito, Rodney has an ever-growing group of dedicated collectors that appreciate his love of the country's wild landscapes and his ability to capture them on film. He is on a mission to create a community of people dedicated to protecting the places he loves best, North America's most beautiful and wild locations. Accomplishing that will take an approach that no other photographer has done before. We are going to prep the camera to handle the uh, extra light at the top of the mountain. We're praying happens, right? And if it does happen, we'll be prepared. Rodney believes that if people can experience the majesty of the places he photographs, not only through his work, but also by visiting them in person, they can't help but fall in love with these hidden gems and will be bound to support his latest project, Stand Here. Most top photographers would seek to keep the locations of their images a secret for fear of others trying to mimic their work. But when you're documenting a world that you realize is becoming increasingly threatened, it calls for a different line of attack. Sometimes the beauty starts just outside city limits. Sometimes it's a bit further, a lot further. After a lifetime of seeking out the best places to photograph, Rodney is now sharing the details of each location through the ongoing series of documentaries, Stand Here. More importantly, he's also building an associated social media network that will allow members to join in his mission to document and save our wild places for the generations to come. Well, the trail keeps going that way. But if you want to see the hidden gems that this little valley holds, <laughs> we got to go this way. 
stand here is meant to help everybody get out of the house and go to locations that are amazing to help, I don't know, fill the tank, if you will. And boy, you get out there and you go to one of these locations, you're gonna wanna do it again and again and again. Sometimes you gotta go through hell just for a little slice of heaven. Since Lewis and Clark first crossed this great continent, there's been a great tradition of exploration and discovery in North America. One that, well, was continued by photographers like William Henry Jackson and Ansel Adams. My mission is to follow in their footsteps and to capture images of America's most wild and beautiful places. By participating in Stand Here, you can join Rodney on a journey of a lifetime that will inspire you to embark on adventures of your own and in doing so, help protect wild America. All right, so we made it up here to Midlaco Falls, which is absolutely one of the most uh, beautiful waterfalls in the Columbia River Gorge. It's stunning. We are a week away from Christmas and we had a snowfall last night. So we got a dusting of snow on everything and it's really beautiful. So I have to hurry and set this up. Oh, we got these beams of light coming down into the waterfall right now. Absolutely amazing, amazing. My name's Rodney Lowe Jr. and I wanna show how you can stand here. <laughs>